Baylor Bear freshman Keontae George was born to get buckets in the modern NBA. The six foot four inch combo guard is one of the 2023 NBA Draft's premier shooters on and off the ball and has dazzled fans and analysts alike with a mix of dynamic scoring and intriguing playmaking flashes that make him a near lock to be selected with a top 10 pick next June. Welcome to Film Sesh, an NBA Draft deep dive by Corey Tullivan, highlighting how a prospect might make an impact when they step onto an NBA floor. When you think of modern NBA offense, you think of fast-paced, high-volume distance shooting. Guard play is dominated by dudes with deep bags that are capable of knocking down shots at all levels of difficulty. The talent pool in the league has never been deeper. Keontae George is tailor-made for how basketball is played in 2023. George is a threat to bury tough shots from every spot on the floor with deep NBA range and the confidence to knock them down regardless of how closely he's being guarded. Keontae has put an emphasis on the volume and volume shooter during his freshman campaign, letting fly an absurd 15 three-point attempts per 100 possessions, accounting for over 60% of his shot attempts. With a quick trigger and deep range, defenses have to be prepared to contest a shot at all times whenever the Baylor Frosh is on the court. Keontae George may be a tough shot maker, but he's also a tough shot taker. Keontae can get streaky at times due to his sometimes iffy shot selection. For a shooter of George's caliber, he's shooting just 36% from downtown. He's going to have to learn when he is forcing the issue. There are times when a scorer has to take tough shots for the sake of the offense, and then there's just settling. The outside shot took a little while to get going at the college level, but the percentages are trending in the right direction, something I expect to continue as he gets acclimated in the NBA and reins in some of the higher degree of difficulty shots that he takes. When you watch George get into his offense, it's hard not to notice the influence of premier NBA combo guards. Keontae has advanced footwork, a creative handle, and a mature pace in which he creates shots. Watch how similarly Murray and Keontae create on this knockdown. Spin, step back, splash. Pick and roll offense will be a major aspect of Keontae's game in the NBA. Give him just an inch of space and he too will make you pay, regardless if he has multiple hands in his face. And at the NBA level, you have to contest elite shooters. Giving open looks to snipers at a ball screen actions is a kiss of death. Drop bigs have the unfortunate responsibility of playing guards like George for the drive while also having to get to a perimeter contest if the guard can't get over. Because of the threat of the drive, George makes bigs guess. These kinds of open looks may as well be layups. NBA players are chefs in the kitchen and George has all the tools and ingredients to cook. The deep bag of combo moves that George already uses to create space is advanced. Once he gets you leaning, he's ready to rise up and fire. This combo step back is a signature NBA move that elite shot creators like Cavs guard Donovan Mitchell bust out frequently. And at just 19 years old, George already has it in his arsenal. But what makes George such a seamless fit into any NBA offense is how easily he can slide off the ball and complement other ball dominant players. George has elite shot prep when he shoots off the catch, hands ready on the hop or one two step, let it fly. George's consistent and repeatable motion could one day make him one of the league's best catch and shoot threats. But George isn't just a standstill guy. Keontae can fly off pin downs and screens. He can let it fly off DHOs or quick pitches. And he loves flaring to the corner when his man tries to cheat the gap. The versatility in Keontae's shot making both on and off the ball makes him a tough cover for any defense, especially because George is also a willing driver. While Keontae may be just six foot four, he is strong and stocky and he'll attack the hoop and seek out contact. Finishing over 70% of his shots at the rim, Keontae can go into your body and finish through the contact or finish with finesse where he has a penchant for finishing with his off hand. George will never be the above the rim finisher of a guy like Donovan Mitchell, but he shares a similar ability to put pressure on defenders by getting them on their heels. George can change directions, play with hesitations and change of pace, and execute combinations that make his movements and shot types hard to predict. And when he doesn't finish at the cup, he's generating contact and earning trips at the charity stripe. George doesn't just absorb contact when he drives, he seeks it. For someone that doesn't have the same level of bounce of some of his NBA counterparts, finishing with craft and getting freebies at the free throw line will be an important aspect of his offense at the next level. While finishing at the hoop and behind the three-point line are two of the biggest points of emphasis for scorers, the best guys can do it at all three levels. George hasn't utilized too much of a mid-range game, but he has a bag of floaters that he uses to score in the in-between. 
whether he's using the over-the-head cradle like Donovan Mitchell or Euro stepping and finishing with the same foot, same hand, Keontae has different counters and advanced touch to employ a deadly float game at the next level. One of the more surprising aspects of Keontae George's game as a freshman has been the impressive playmaking flashes that he's shown. The most complete offensive guards at the NBA level use the threat of their scoring to make plays for others, and Keontae's vision and creativity as a passer has exceeded expectations. George has done a great job orchestrating out of ball screens, he has great timing and touch while hitting the roll man, and while he isn't the type of passer that'll dissect a defense like a Luka Doncic type primary initiator might, George has shown flashes of recognizing and making more advanced next level reads to shooters at different spots on the floor. And in a league that continues moving towards the goal of playing .5 basketball, the recognition and processing speed to fit passes into such tight windows with the precision, placement, and confidence that George does is high-level shit. George's playmaking, combined with his shot-making at volume, shows us that since 2008, he is the only other freshman besides Trey Young that has had an assist rate over 24%, a free throw rate over 35%, while attempting over 14 three-pointer attempts per 100 possessions per Bartrovic. Versatile offensive production is what you draft Keontae George for, but it's also his potential as a two-way guard that lends credence to a top 10 projection. George may only be 6'4", but because of his frame, length, and competitiveness, he has more than held his own on the other side of the ball. On the ball, George has great feet, flips his hips, gets wide, plays with his chest, and gets into the ball handler's shirt, closing the gap and forcing tough jump shots. George's excellent timing and feel leads to stellar closeouts with a hand in the defender's face. Keontae has also shown the willingness to sacrifice his body, drawing multiple charges as he consistently beats his man to the spot. He's not perfect. Like most young players, there are times where George may suffer a blowby when he closes out to shooters too upright, and he may struggle to guard up positionally early on as bigger and stronger players can move him off of his spot. But George has shown more good than bad, bringing consistent effort and buying into Baylor's team principles. Off the ball, George has had standout moments, showing his nuanced understanding of positioning and rotations. George has quick hands that he utilizes in the passing lanes, which turns defense to offense, but more importantly is his defensive team fundamentals. George has been excellent positioning himself on the weak side of the floor, where his positioning as the low man has led to multiple charges as he tags the roller. George also has shown great instincts when the ball skips to the weak side, demonstrating the knowledge of when and who to X out to with textbook closeout form. This possession encapsulates everything Keontae George can bring defensively and is one of the more impressive, full-on defensive possessions that you'll see from a perimeter prospect this draft cycle. Keontae starts as the most important guy under the basket with his man in the weak side corner. As the ball skips to the weak corner, Keontae shows perfect fundamentals with short, choppy feet and high hands on the closeout. Quick feet to beat his man to the spot and perfect screen navigation before his man is ultimately forced to move off the ball completely. Keontae George may have gotten off to a slow start, but he's starting to cook. Since 2008, the only freshman or sophomore prospects to have a usage above 25%, an assist percentage above 20%, a steal percentage above 2%, a free throw rate above 30%, while attempting greater than 10 three-point attempts per 100 possessions and finishing over 65% of their shots at the rim are Keontae and Paul George. Elite company to be in for a dynamic and versatile offensive player with an NBA-style bag. Keontae's impressive production along with the eye test, are why I'm betting on the Texas product and believe he should be a top five pick in the 2023 NBA Draft.